Hello guys, welcome back to the bench, and uh, today we're going to go over a portion of the Green Stuff World lineup, and that would be their Chrome. Uh, as you guys have seen in the community section, I posted a picture of a early test. All I had in stock was this, and a couple of their colors um, for a future test, and because I recently did the, the Chrome uh, coating test, um, I, I knew I still had some more Chromes to test. Uh, actually, even in the back, you can see I have this E7s chrome and I got this wicked colors quicksilver and chrome gold from wicked colors so we will be testing these very soon I want to get all the chromes out of the way so uh, what I did was I knew they had a brush on this actually I mean, you can't miss it. it says airbrush across it but they also sold this one it's a slightly different formula even though it's the same it's alcohol based too that's why you're gonna see the flame logo it's an alcohol base the entire lineup other than the chrome is an acrylic uh, except for this, and I don't think the hol in the holographic, yeah, the holographic is also in a, uh, an alcohol base. So, but the rest of the lineup, I believe, yeah, is, there's no uh, flame logo on, I don't know if I checked them, so the rest of their lineup is uh, pretty much acrylics. And I think they make a metal pigment, which is safe to mix with these, but they didn't have any when I ordered, but we will test those later too. So, I ordered an extra bottle because I knew I was going to go through some of this, I like it so much. And, uh, and I wanted to test the brush. That's what I was waiting for all week. I would have put the test earlier, but I want to compare the two. And I want to brush some on and airbrush some on. I know I can't paint big areas with this from what I've read, but that's all right. If we want to do small parts, and um, then that that is perfect for that, is what I heard. We will be testing it. Now, for the brush on, I got this uh, Gundam hand right here. We'll brush that on. No uh, backing, I heard. I heard if it's just dark plastic, it should cover it even medium to dark it should cover it uh, um, like I said it, it, it's a it's a different pigmentation for made for brushing whereas this is much finer to go into mist coats I think that's the difference you know I guess I'll also brush on this hair hose and we'll see that and um, we'll let those dry and we'll go through that as soon as we're done airbrushing we're gonna airbrush first uh, like I said it says you can thin it with alcohol I keep this out I'm going to use this to actually just to clean the brush when we go ahead and brush paint uh, to do the brush test. But uh, it doesn't really need, can you hear it? It doesn't really need thinning. It's, it's thin just like the all clads and all the other chromes. It's pretty thin. In fact, if you can see the flow right there through the bottle, there it is. It's super thin. So I'll just shake some up. I'm going to put it right into the airbrush uh, for this test. Let me reach over here, guys. We're going to use my, uh, my PS. 270 um, 0.3 millimeter needle is what's still in this you can go to a 0.2 if you want also but I got this uh, I got it set for 15 psi we're gonna put on very lightly just like the all clad uh, no real good instructions as far as uh, needle size air pressure nothing uh, and nothing you're on your own here I barely found anything on the how to brush the stuff on so uh, we're flying by the seat of our pants here um, and before we hit the booth again, a couple of guys keep asking, so I'm going to show you my mask again. Hold on, let me get this out of the way. I use my, I use the uh, Rhino half mask respirator. It fits my uh, face really good. It lets me put my glasses on also. And uh, here's the mask. I think I'll show this a few times now before I hit to the booth. You can see the Rhino logo right there. And these are replaceable, but when airbrushing through the booth. They, they, uh, these things stay clean for quite a long time. Uh, you can probably get almost a year if you're just going to do light painting with this. If you're spray painting a car, obviously you're going to replace these, and they sell uh, extras on Amazon. You pop this off and put new filters in. And uh, even with what we're doing, you don't even need this whole outer. There's a charcoal filter in here. So you actually, this is double, probably overkill for us because we're just airbrushing, you know, little bits. We're not doing, you know, we're not painting a house or a car, you know. But it fits my face really good and that's why I like the Rhino so people always ask so I'm gonna show that again I'll put that in the link but anyway let's head over to the booth and we're gonna go with the airbrushing first obviously so we're gonna put this directly into the airbrush no thinning we're gonna spray it lightly we'll do a couple spoons and then um, we'll head back at the bench and we'll do the brush painting on a couple of these pieces and we'll show you the results this stuff is really good I'm impressed so far I think you will be too let's head over to the booth all right guys here we go we're at the booth I'm gonna turn the fan on low so you guys can hear me there we go 
I want you guys to know it has no smell at all. I mean, I put my nose right in it just then. It, it, you just don't smell it in, um, at all. Um, it's one of the few alcohol-based paints that has no smell as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's just barely a smell to it, which is really good also. So we're going to go over a spoon. And I already have this gloss coated. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. I think that's my 2K clear of a black plastic spoon. So we'll put it over that too. And then, um, wait to see how nice this stuff is. So we're going to go on very light. This is 15 PSI. We're going to go and mist it on just like we're doing in all clad. Here we go. We're already getting the chrome look. I put it on actually kind of heavy and it still came out great. It says you can buff it when you're done. It's, it's, it's like the all clad. It has that dusty powder to it. But you're going to get a lot of use out of one bottle because I'm barely putting this on and we already got a full chrome look already. already. See it? Oh, it? It's hard to see it in uh, through the lens, but it actually uh, fades out. It, it's going on almost a powdery look. We'll leave that alone. We'll go to another one. I'll show you what I mean. If we're putting it on heavy, which you don't want to do, but it's really forgiving. All right, look at that. We're already coming into a chrome look already. See how dull it is? This is what I want to show you when we're done to rub it out. That's why I'm going to put that on heavy. All right, let's do another spoon. Hold on, guys. Let's put some more in. Won't need that much more because... I load it up on the knife so you guys can see it when you go on it heavy. We're going to do this one light again, just like uh, the first spoon. It's amazing how this stuff works. That's as light as I can do. That's two extremely light coats. You can just about see my face there. Now, it looks like it's dull, but it actually dries itself to a perfect finish. I really like this stuff. It's almost, uh, trying to get every corner here. That should do it. All right, guys. Now, you're going to clean this out with alcohol. Just use the jar, the bottle I showed you. Just any dime store, you know, any dollar store alcohol. Just throw it in there, blast it out, do the reverse flush. It cleans right up. Um, I'll wash this through too, and we'll head back to the uh, bench, and I'll show you the brush-on test. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench, and uh, we are going to do the brush-on test. Now, make sure you get the brush-on version. It doesn't say brush. It just says chrome metal. Um... But it's listed as brush on when you go to order it but you can't miss the two because they put airbrush in that bright green i i heard you can airbrush this too but i have that already i didn't bother trying um so they said you can do both so i guess uh, uh buy the one bottle if you want to do both but this has a heavier pigment so we're going to see what we get this is a little paint uh catch i have All right. Yeah. Now, with this, it's a little different. You're not going to brush like we brush our enamels and lacquers, as I've done. You're going to load up the brush. And you're going to dab. You're going to dab it. Watch. See it? You're just going to like hit it and have the piece 
pull the paint off the brush. Load it up and just have the piece, just touch the piece and the, the piece should pull the paint off of the brush. Don't use brush strokes. I'll show you why in a minute. Check that out. Look at that. All right, we're gonna let that dry. Let me get this out of the way. One second, guys. Just off camera here. All right. Okay, now let's do this. Load it up again. We're just gonna touch. Gonna touch it. It settles in, if that's a word I can use, it kind of, as it sets up, it, it leaves the shine behind. It looks like it's not as I'm doing this, but look at the bottom already, how we're getting a shine on that already. If I get the lighting here. Yeah. Let's see. There we go. It, I mean, that is reflective. Looks like a piece that came in one of my old car kits. The old chrome sprue. Excellent. All right, let me put this aside to dry with the other one. And here's what we gotta do. You gotta clean it off with alcohol. This is my good Tamiya brush. Yeah, Tamiya. Great brush. The whole brush lineup is great. This is just uh, pure alcohol. I cleaned the airbrush out with this too. Uh, I think Equate, Equate, that's uh, that's Walmart. That's Walmart's brand, yep. It was like 98 cents for that bottle. Oh, that's the giant bottle. That's like two bucks for that one. Look, cleans it right off. All the chrome is gone. Just wipe it lightly. Look at that. Perfect. Put that in my brush rack. Check out this brush rack I just picked up the other day. I don't even think it was six bucks at uh, Hobby Lobby. Isn't that great? Look at that. I gotta load it up yet, I just got it. And uh, it's great to let them dry out too. But you should always store your brushes like this. Look at that. All right, let's get that out of the way. Okay guys, now, we look at it. It's like, look, uh, mercury in there, like mercury plating. I wish I could capture that and put it back in here. Maybe I will. Let me close this lid to keep it dry. See? And we'll put that aside. All right, now I'm gonna show you what happens when you brush it heavily, and then we're gonna look at the one we airbrushed. All right, you ready? Look at that. Is that awesome? I mean, the lighting here is a little tricky. I wish you could see it. Here, it looks good there, look at that. Look at the light just glaring off it. It, it looks like a model that came plated. Now, here's why you can't brush it on a big piece. Now, this I took the gloss black and brushed it. And see what you get? It's You can see it's trying to be the reflective chrome. But I even let it sit, put another coat. Now, everything I tried, it just came out like this. You have to do the dabbing effect where you just let it pull off the brush. And for that reason, I think it's made for these smaller pieces. You know, it's settling in already on this. Look at that. Is that beautiful? And it's durable too. I'll show you the spoon that I've been sitting on here for a while. Here's the one we just painted. See it? So that's both of them. Isn't that terrific? You know? And um, uh, fairly durable. I, this I painted, I mean, just a little couple hours ago. But this will take a, take a little bit of a beating. It's got to dry. you got to let it fully, fully dry. You just have to. And that is... 48 hours I would go. The other one I noticed right away. Let me show you. This I noticed right away that it was going to be durable. Now this is what happens when you put it on heavy. This is why I loaded this up heavy. See, it's just a dull aluminum look. So let's uh, see if we can buff it out. I doubt it. You know. See, that's all you're going to get. So, don't go heavy. You gotta go those mist coats, you know, as I showed you before. Now, you can get two kinds of paint out of this. I guess you can make an, an aluminum or a uh, silver. If you just put it on heavy, you know, it's, um, 
you can get that look if you want. Here's the look we're going for though. We want the chrome. And this is the one I showed in the picture. Here's the two I just paint, painted. And they're just beautiful. It's just about dry to the touch. And it is literally, uh, uh, I want to say, five minutes ago. Now it has that light dust on it. So we're going to take my t-shirt here. I'll pull it out. I'm just going to rub it lightly. And now you can look at that. Can you see me with the thumb up? How beautiful is this chrome? Same thing with this. It's got a little haze to it. Can you see the haze? All right. We'll pull up my, instead of pulling my shirt, let's get my micro cloth here. All right. Let me just rub it lightly. That's all. I like to pull it in one direction. Look at that. Is that beautiful? You can see me again. Is this fantastic? Now this one's been sitting a week. I put old on it so I know it was the older one. So you guys can see that it takes a beating. I did the tape test. Uh, it doesn't peel off. It's. Uh, I will do a, um, a clear coat test to see what happens. They say on the package, the one thing they do say is don't put clear coat because it'll just, it'll ruin the look. And we already know that. I mean, we know that already. But um, it doesn't need it. it. It's durable. It should hold up. You know, if you, particularly if you let it dry for a while. This has been dried for a while. And, and if I was beating this up on some of the all-clads and some of the other brands, it would just be ruined by now. You know, it would just be ruined. So uh, it's really durable. If you're going to just pose your kits and, and, you know, just leave them in one position on your shelf, it, it re you really don't have to you know protect them at all but I just think this is a wonderful wonderful chrome paint I like it there's no smell to it very rarely do you get one that's uh, no smell and looks this good most of them don't have a, a smell anyway but when you see the uh, solvent and the alcohol tag and the flame tag you, you everybody you're thinking of a smell that's that's the first thing you think of and this has zero smell and don't forget as good as the airbrush one is the brush on is great too, but this is for tiny parts. I, I would say, I mean, this is a good sized piece here. It's a hand, and it came out beautiful. So, um, but you're going to use the dabbing effect. You're just going to get those brush strokes. If you go the other route on a big piece, you got to go. You're going to have to airbrush this stuff, guys, if you want to go uh, a, a, a big area like like this. But um, as far as this goes, it's a whole different shine. Can you see it? It's like it's almost like a, a chrome plated, like a bumper. An old car bumper but you're not gonna get this kind of shine anywhere so I'm glad they do make a brush on one I'll tell you right now because you can now you can do some of the parts inside some of these inner frames of these kits and some little pieces you know on the joints and stuff you can paint with this and have it be shiny if you don't have an airbrush so you can do spray cans and brush painting and still get a nice effect but uh, that is it now uh, I'll put a link where I got them I got them from Michigan toy soldier um, I kept writing them and asking them if they would give me a code for you guys or something, and they wouldn't give me anything. So I, I had to buy all this myself and uh, wanted to do it for this test. They also have fluorescence in the back. I'll go over some of the colors now. But um, I was when I tested this, I really wanted to get more of them to do a full test. If I do get an affiliate, I'll put it up. But I'll put the link below, and uh, I think eBay has some of this stuff too if you guys are overseas. Now here is example of some of their other paints before I say goodbye for the day all right this is candy ink ruby red over chrome I took it and put it over one of these chromes and that's what I got I guess if I went even heavier it would have came out even redder but I, I like this color it's kind of unique and again this is durable too I've been I've been uh, uh, scratching this and, and getting nothing on it so they're durable acrylic paints this is an acrylic yes you just look for the flame logo here if it isn't. So the rest of the lineup is acrylics. That's the ruby red. Here is color shift. Where's the color shift I did here? Uh, blue interference or cobalt blue? Let me see. Which one did I use? Right here. This is color shift, cobalt blue. Look at that. How beautiful is that? So it's a blue purple. I have to tip it. See the back here? You're going to get the blue, the purple. And no matter where the light hits, will be blue. Isn't that beautiful? And I sprayed it over a blue piece and got this look. It's hard to tell on your end, but it has a shimmer of purple in the reflection. 
and I clear coated this with a with a Vallejo spray can gloss. Look how nice. So I know already these paints are going to be nice. These are just I just took randomly some of the colors and wanted to see what I got. Now this is uh, Neptunus blue. This is their metal color lineup. So these are all their metallics, all here. Beautiful colors. Look at a metallic gray, a tin, uh, tin metal. There's a purple, there's a bronze, so I got some of the, look, copper, so I get to try the metal colors, which I love. And they also have violet and purple, so look at this. So anyway, here's the blue, and this is it straight over white plastic. How beautiful is that? It's a satin finish. It's super durable. Again, I, I really durable for an acrylic. But that's straight out of the bottle over a white plastic spoon. This is it over gray. And this is it over a white primer. Now, it doesn't come out this shiny. It came out deeper than this, a little bit. But what I did was I put the Vallejo spray can primer over this. Vallejo, I should say, you guys see, to say it the right way. So this is over gray primer. That's over white primer with the Vallejo spray can gloss. Is that beautiful or what? Look at that. So, that's early, uh, we call them the preliminaries of the early test for what we got to go on. I also have fluorescence. Look at this, white fluorescent. Um, what else do we have? Color shift. Here's some color shifts we have. Darth Blue. Uh, Red Goblin. Burning Gold. And Storm Surge Green. So I'll do some of the color shifts soon because I did a color shift test with the uh, the Vallejo, so uh, I do want to compare them. These are metal fillers. These go over other colors, or I can mix them with other colors. So I'm dying to see what these effects work on. You can put them over anything, any other paint, even color shifts. And it will give you, see it, purple interference, turquoise interference. Sorry if I'm off camera, guys. Oh, blue interference. So I'm dying to see what these look like. So that's a unique color. And I have the holographic which I like to put over uh, other colors. This is their Max Matte. This is a super ultra matte varnish. So I'm dying to see what kind of effect I'm gonna get with that. And of course, the metal color I showed you. So that's it, guys, that's for the test. Um, again, it's just beautiful. I, I really like the paint, particularly these. I wish the whole lineup was this alcohol base, but early performances on these uh, acrylics show that they're just as good so uh, I was a little worried that I realized this is a different formula than the rest of the lineup but it ended up not mattering too much because I am getting great results um, also coming up I'll do these uh, I'm gonna do a chrome shootout I might do these two chromes here well there's three this is a uh, shine chrome from E7 this is chrome silver and this is that uh, chrome sealer that I like the most on the uh, sealing your chrome test I did last week so we're gonna use that with their own brand and see what we get and then I got the wicked colors gold chrome we're gonna test that too uh, anyway guys that is all I'll put a link below for this stuff and for my mask I'll put below I'll put a link again for my airbrush which seems to perform really well with these and um, I do highly recommend that airbrush I love it and, uh, and I do recommend these paints uh, I will be doing a, a further test very soon but uh, for now, the chrome test is in, and it is a big thumbs up. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, please like the video, uh, which helps us a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already, because I have a lot more, as you can tell, a lot more tests to go. Uh, I just got in some Army Painter paints. We're going to be testing all the white paint I have on my shelf. I got these uh, Scale Color. Scale 75 is the brand. This is their paint. That's their matte, which came in late for the matte test, but look at that. So that's another great line of the paints I got coming. So we do have a lot of paints to go. And I picked this up at the dollar store, a Dollar Tree, a giant bottle of acrylic paint. We're going to airbrush this and see if it's any good for a buck. Look at this thing. Should last you a lifetime for a dollar. So I'm hoping that works because, boy, that's cheap. Anyway, guys, like I said, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and we will catch you next week in our next video.